one of the toughest conversations I had to have as a business owner. To tell a client, hey, um, I understand we did it here a couple times at this price, but I can't do it at that price anymore. So I had a situation where I had to cut ties with a client who we worked with. I worked with him a couple months consistently. Now we didn't have a retainer contract, so I wasn't obligated to keep the price and going the same way. So I was able to, after that third time we come to the table, he's wanting a proposal for another project. I'm like, okay, cool. So I slept on the night. I was like, man, I really don't want to do it for that price anymore. It's just not worth it for me. I did it the first couple times because I, you know, I needed it. It was cool. I needed that. But right at that point, I was like, it, it, the, the time that it's taking me is not worth the money. So I had to have that conversation with him. It's one of the toughest conversations I had to have as a business owner to tell a client, hey, um, I understand we did it here a couple times at this price, but I can't do it at that price anymore. That was a tough conversation. I had to get myself out to sleep on it. It didn't go well, but I knew a couple things going into that call. One, I knew that I was not gonna justify any any reason for, I didn't have to explain why I was raising my prices. I didn't have to explain, I didn't owe him that. I didn't owe him that. I don't have to say, well, you know, it's taking this much time, I got this person gotta edit the drive, the equipment, uh, we got all these cameras. And this is what I was doing, we would shoot podcasts. So I would film his podcast and we'd shoot multiple episodes in a day. He'd have different guests come in, he'd rent the space. I set up, shoot the podcast, edit it, get him over to him, get some clips, stuff like that. So we did that a couple times. And then he was ready to do it a third time. And I was like, ah, I can't do it. It's not worth it for me. So again, I had to be, uh, I had to be ready for that call to not explain anything. I don't have to explain my price. And then the other thing I had to worry, worry about was the possibility that he, he wasn't going to be down with that. He wasn't cool with it. And he would, he would walk away. I had to, I had to accept that. And so, but that's what happened, you know, at the end, of, he actually asked me at the end of that call, he was like, do you got enough clients where you can just, you know, cut me off like that? You got enough stuff going on where you don't have to, you don't need me as a client. I said, yeah, yeah, none of your business. But yeah, I didn't say that part. That's what I was thinking. I was like, ain't none of your business, but yeah. Now, was I telling the truth? No, I was lying. Did I have enough clients to where I could just lose him? No, I didn't. But I knew I had to cut ties with this type of client some way because it was taking up too much of my time to where i would go if i had to do that it'd be hours i'd be sitting behind the computer editing that stuff and and worried about that not to mention the drive a couple hours to set up the shooting the whole day of sh shooting which it would add up to with all the driving and then the editing and all that stuff like it's not worth it especially when i know i could send out a proposal to somebody else and get the same you know, get one episode for the price we about to do four or five. So no, couldn't do it. So I had to be okay with him saying, him walking away and saying he wasn't, which is what happened. But I knew I had to stop dealing with those clients. And to do that, I had to, this, this helped me, this experience helped me redefine who it is I want to work with. 